Okay, uh, let's do something else here. And uh, yeah, we'll take also as usual some baby steps uh, because there are several concepts here, but uh, it's important for you to understand them uh, properly. So we just inserted uh, before, you remember, a store record yeah, in the, in the store collection. Okay, this is how it looks like. Look, what I want to do, I want to create right now a separate collection, yeah, a separate collection of books and uh, to save only these uh, books yeah, that, that we have here, yeah, one, two, three, four books, uh, one, uh, uh, one in every entry, okay? So this will get uh, its own key, yeah, as a JSON document, separate JSON document, and so on. Yeah, this will get a separate key, and so on. And uh, I want these keys. Uh, I don't want UUIDs. I want numbers. Uh, I want them somehow sequential, but I don't want to take care of them. I want them generated somehow automatically. And uh, yeah, let's focus more on this. But until then, until then, let's see how uh, how we can eventually get the book books collection from here and uh, how we can get this uh, with uh, one one book for uh, every entry. Well, we didn't reach this phase, but uh, I can tell you with the unnest, yeah, with the unnest, uh, you can eventually refer, you see here, I'll get the store and then as books, okay, as books, and I will get the books and then I will say, okay, refer row to, to each book from here. Let's just simply run this. Uh, don't try to understand everything uh, what Unnest does, but <laughs> as you may uh, expect, uh, Unnest is just another way to explode basically an array. Yeah, I re refer to this array uh, into uh, rows with uh, each row having uh, one object yeah, from this array, one element from this array. Yeah, this is what Unnest does. And look, this is what I'll get. Okay. Because I need to use a query like this one later on to populate my new collection. But as I said, until then, let's deal a bit with this uh, pesky unique identifier. So I will use sequences, yeah? You should be familiar from relational databases with sequences. Uh, well, they implement in something very, very different here. And look, I will create a book, book sequence. Okay. Drop it if it exists. If it exists, it doesn't. Okay. And uh, yeah, you can create a sequence uh, simply with, uh, with this uh, with this statement. I just added this more here more because by default this will start with one, increment by one, no mean value, mean value, no max value. And uh, yeah, we'll cycle automatically at the end. Yeah, we'll, we'll restart from zero. But uh, yeah, le let's use uh, this one for uh, to, to get uh, something, uh, uh, something more rich in flavor, let's call it. Okay, I will start with 10. And uh, this will get incremented by 2. So this will be 10, 12, 14, and so on. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's uh, simply drop the collection if it exists. It's not there. And I will create a collection of books. Okay. And now look at the query. Yeah? This is a query I want. You see, I will use unnest just like before here. Okay. But uh, for the key, now for the key, this is what I'll use, guys. Yeah. Two string. So once again, insert, but instead of values, I will pass a select statement. So the insert, yeah, will get the result of this select statement. And uh, for the key, the key is generated from the sequence with this call, next value for the sequence, okay? And uh, I have to convert it to a string. It doesn't work yet, try it without, uh, without this uh, cast conversion and it will fail because uh, the key uh, cannot be a number, must be a string, okay? And the value in this case, the, look at the way you pass this. So key and value right now are uh, mandatory. And uh, you, you can pass also. This key here could be passed in the key instead of K here directly. Let's say, yeah. It's possible to do it, yeah. I can simply move all this stuff here. Okay. I can simply move it into K. Yeah. Okay. And refer just to, uh, in the select, uh, refer to V only. Okay, but you need this signature here on top. Okay, I will leave it the way it is. But uh, look, it's it's not very difficult. On top, you select basically the key. You see here, you say as K and here as V, and uh, this is what you have to select for uh, to to provide to insert into. Yeah, for the rest, yeah, you've seen that. Uh, yeah, basically we unnest it. Yeah, these values here. 
Th this is what you'll get. Basically, you'll get an insert into values, and you'll get one uh, one entry in the values list for every book. Okay, returning meta. Okay, uh, a scale. You can see here. Yeah, that's a key that I return, and uh, yeah, the value itself. Yeah, let's run it. Let's run it. Let's see what we get. And uh, yeah, definitely you see K. K as yeah, the, the key, the generated key, as I said, 10, 12, yeah, 14, 16, generated automatically by the sequence. And this is our book, yeah. And uh, yeah, you can further query this one. You see, metals key value. Yeah, I provided backticks because these are uh, keywords, reserved keywords in a couch base. And uh, yeah, you, you may get back something uh, very, very similar like this one here. And uh, Look, uh, for the sequence itself, uh, yeah, uh, just like in uh, relational databases, uh, you may have, yeah, in, in, in relational databases, sometimes you have um, functions, built-in functions, next val, uh, previous val, or current, current value, rather. Here they provided preval, and uh, you'll see, we'll explore there are different alternatives, yeah. But uh, for the previous value, the previous value is actually the current value, okay? So this is the last value that you insert, is that you use because next val will automatically uh, move to the next value, will generate a new value, and uh, this, this is what you'll get every time, okay? And, uh, yeah, what else? Let's see, uh, yeah, uh, if I want a row, uh, row uh, view to my collection, this is what we'll get, guys. And, uh, yes, uh, I must refer here to, what, what if, if you want to refer us at a specific book, uh, use keys. Yeah, this is what you may use, okay? Uh, they provided this in the beginning, yeah, but uh, look, <laughs> that's another way of saying, okay, uh, where meta of ID is uh, the specific key, okay? That's a shortcut. Use keys, yeah? remember this one, yeah? If you want to refer to this one, and, yeah, you may pass here an array of values, not just one single value, in which case, Okay, this will return multiple. And yeah, we, we already explored this. You may say where meta ID in and provide an array, also the same array here. Yeah, Let, let's see, I had this, yeah. <laughs> I provide this is here. This is equivalent to this guy here, where meta ID in. And yeah, you remember you provide an array here, not a list. Yeah, uh, as in SQL. Well, and what can I say? Uh, yeah, just uh, to explore the metadata, you you may have a uh, you have also a system catalog here, just like in relational databases. Uh, you have information schema, let's say, in most relational databases and uh, in all <laughs> relational databases actually. So here you can refer to system with a column separator, and you have different functions here. Yeah, we will have a look at this one, but for now, if you want to look at all the sequences defined here, yeah, so far I have this. Uh, just, just this uh, sequence defined here, yeah. Uh, you see the default name, the name here, book sequence. You see the value and so on. That's the last value, but the current value, basically. And uh, yeah, you get other information. A quick review for uh, what we've seen so far. So there is no create database or create a bucket statement in SQL++. Okay, so uh, you have to do this through SDK programmatically or you'll have to do this through UIs. Yeah? Why is this? Because they consider this an administrative operation. They want to control this process. Okay, so uh, once you create a bucket, yeah, uh, this is where everything starts. You may switch to... Um, SQL++ and uh, call create scope, okay? In a scope, you create uh, collections, okay? And uh, you may drop eventually scopes, collections with uh, drop scope, drop collection. But uh, to refer to a scope, yeah, you can uh, provide uh, a query context or you can provide a fully qualified name. And uh, you can see here the default. The default is a namespace, yeah? Uh, that's the only one they have so far today, yeah? Default, so you can skip it. Okay, uh, bucket here, replace it with a bucket name. And uh, if you refer to a collection, uh, yes, this must be prefixed with bucket dot uh, scope uh, dot. And uh, yeah, don't forget to use backticks if you use special characters inside or if you re use uh, reserved keywords. And uh, yes, uh, we've seen that you can insert data with insert into, with an insert into statement uh, in two different ways here.
first of all, uh, you, you can provide values, yeah, uh, in, in which case uh, the key value signature here there is uh, optional, is just a decorator, just to point out that uh, you have to provide these two different values, this pair of, a pair of key values there. And uh, this will take a list of key followed by the actual JSON context. You have to manually provide the key there, or you have to call a function, or you have to provide the sequence. Yeah, we'll, we'll look at this uh, in much detail in the next slide. But the second way to populate a collection would be to call insert into with a select statement, in which case the result of the select will be passed, must be passed as uh, key value pairs yeah, to the uh, insert into, yeah, to, to add this to the collection. And uh, in this case, yeah, the key and value are necessary there. You see the signature is different and provide also some aliases. Uh, they propagate this way, you can see in the select statement, as k, as v, okay? And uh, just be aware that, um, look, uh, if you try to insert multiple values, and uh, let's say uh, you, you insert 10 values, and uh, the, eighth, the eighth record will fail, okay? The previous seven records have been inserted already, okay? So next time, if you run the same, the same statement, you may uh, very likely, yeah, you, you'll find a collision, uh, a conflict collision on the inserted keys already. Okay, so this will not roll back the whole batch. Okay, be aware of this. So let's say you provided the, the keys one, two, three, and uh, you inserted already one, two, this was fine, but for the three, for the keys three, I don't know, you, you did not have a proper JSON syntax. Uh, everything failed, uh, but in fact, the, the two, the two initial um, entries have been added. So next time you run the same, yeah, one and two, uh, the keys one and two ha already have records there, so very likely you'll get an error. And I was saying, yeah, let's quickly review this. Uh, we've seen that you can provide manually, okay, manually some uh, unique keys. Uh, they are not provided automatically for you, so uh, it's very customary to, to have a look at these two different uh, ways of providing unique identifiers with universally unique identifiers, simply call the UUID built-in function, okay? Uh, or you can uh, create a sequence, let's say, and uh, yeah, with create sequence. And uh, yeah, there are different other options here, uh, start with, increment with, and uh, yeah, you, you can provide a negative number for increment with if you want to count down uh, mean max value and the cycle if you want this rotated. Let's say you provide the max value 100, okay? What if uh, you reach 100? It will go back to one or whatever value you provided in the start with, okay? Uh, you have different value variations here. Uh, also, as uh, SQL keywords, yeah, they are not built-in functions as uh, in many uh, database uh, system implementations, yeah? You have next value, Next value and previous value, okay, that's a current value. Uh, next value, okay, uh, just be careful if you want to provide this as a key, uh, convert it to a string. Previous value, it is a, a current value, no increment, no auto increment is performed here. And previous value is actually the previous value because you already provided the value. Next value will automatically generate the, the next value for you and will show it to you.